pioneers, this is the Smith machine. The Smith machine is really helpful to do traditionally unstable exercises in a highly stabilized way. Because this bar is fixed to match this rim. So it moves only at this, this angle because it's attached to this bar. All you have to do is lift it off of one of these racks and then you'll turn it. And then you can begin your exercise. And when you're done, turn it back and rack it. If for some reason you need more stability or you're doing an exercise that, needs, that has an end position that you need to mark, you can also use these handles down here these are your stoppers or your guardrails, kind of like a squat rack has. So you can set them right there, make sure they're even on both sides, and then you can add weight accordingly using plates. You don't need to use clips or clasps or barbell collars because it's a fixed bar. You can use this for lots of exercises, but be mindful of which direction you're facing because of the plane that it moves out. It is not straight up and down. So for some exercises, it makes sense to face forward, this way toward the mirror. And for others, it makes sense to face this direction. So if I'm doing lunges, I want to face this direction so that the bar allows me to travel back just a little bit. Whereas if I'm doing squats, I might want it to go either direction, depending on how far back I'm leaning into the bar. Because if it's a low bar position behind my shoulders, that'll be different from a high bar position. That will also matter if say you were doing an overhead press, I don't want it to travel backward this way because that would hurt my arms to go that far back. I would want to face this direction. Just like for lunges, I want to face this direction. Reverse lunges specifically. But if I want to do quad dominant squats, I want to place the bar on the back of my shoulders rather than the top. Take a few steps out and now it's in a good position for me to lean into the bar and squat down. And that's the Smith machine.